Hello guys, I'm Hyono from TalkToMeInKorean.com. Today we have this topic that have been requested by many many people over the past few months. So it is how to talk to your in-laws in Korean. And basically there isn't a particularly different type of Korean that you need to speak with your in-laws. It's the same Korean language that we've been teaching for the past many many years and the same Korean language that you see on TV that you see people speak in everyday life. But there are some things that you might find useful to know. So for example, the proper politeness levels that you can actually employ in your everyday language or everyday conversation with your in-laws is very important. So if you just keep sticking to 존댓말, you'll be safe, you'll be fine. But there's one rule that you might want to remember in addition to the general rules of polite language, 존댓말. Let's say you're talking to this person A, all right? This person is older than you, higher than you in the in-law status, if there's such a thing. So you're talking to them in 존댓말, polite language, and you're talking about B, who is also older than you. But when A is actually older or higher than B, you do not use the honorifics that you would otherwise use with B. So for example, this is your 장모님 or 시어머님, which we'll get to a little later on in this video. So this is your mother-in-law. And then you're talking about your wife's or husband's older brother or older sister. Clearly, this person is older than you. So you will say things like 오세요, 하세요, 드세요, things like that, or 가셨어요, using the 시 honorific suffix here and there in your sentences. But then when you're talking to your mother-in-law, who is the usually the ultimate boss, you don't use she in your sentences when you're talking about this person, okay? So you don't attach the honorific suffix to this person as a subject, okay? Do you get it? So let's say this person B is 형님, okay? The title that you use is 형님. So you say to your 어머님, 아, 형님은 지금 집에 없어요. That is correct, but a lot of people make the mistake of saying 형님은 집에 안 계세요, thinking that, oh, I should use the polite language. So the polite language of to be, which is 있다, is 계시다, so I must use that. But it's just wrong. Although it is not grammatically wrong, you're just being rude to your 장모님, the ultimate boss, by being honorific toward somebody who is younger than this person. Do you get it now? That is one rule that you might want to remember in addition to the general rules of politeness levels. And apart from those politeness level rules, of course, it all comes down to the proper titles that you need to know. So here are some titles that I've written down for you. So when you refer to your in-laws, so for guys, your wife's, you might want to take some notes, your wife's older sister is Cha Hyung because Cha is your wife. Hyung, older, so older person. Wife's sister, older sister is Cha Hyung, and her younger sister would be Cha Che. So, for example, my wife has two younger sisters, so I have two Cha Jes or Cha Je Tu Myung. And your wife's older brother or younger brother, either older or younger, can be called or is called Cha Nam. Cha meaning wife, nam meaning man, okay? And for women, your husband's older brother is aju bonim, aju bonim. His older sister is hyongnim. So this is where things get a little bit confusing because you are a woman and you're calling somebody hyongnim. So hyongnim in a different setting, hyongnim can be a title that you use when you are a guy and you refer to somebody older, like who is also a guy, hyong or 형님 in a more respectful manner. But in this specific context, that kind of 형님 and this kind of 형님, they're different, okay? So again, for women, your husband's older sister is 형님, his younger brother is 도련님, and his younger sister is 아가씨. Again, coincidentally, 아가씨 in just general contexts, you just refer to somebody who is not married, who is a woman, Agashi, like in the street, you you just call somebody, hey, miss, that's agashi. Okay, although they're not the same thing. So 
in the family setting, when you're talking to your in-laws, your husband's younger sister is Agashi. So I also have two younger sisters. So my wife refers to or calls my two younger sisters Agashi. And what she does is she usually puts the person's name and adds the term or the title Agashi. So my sisters are called by my wife Yuna Agashi or Mina Agashi, their actual names. But interestingly, some people, when they have a kid, they also find it more comfortable to call them or refer to them from the perspective of the child. So for example, just they call them Komo or Samchon, even though they're not their own uncle or aunt. So we just talked about the titles that you need to know when you're talking to or talking about your wife's or husband's siblings. Now let's talk about your parents-in-law. So this is also fairly straightforward. So for women, your mother-in-law is shi omoni and your father-in-law is shi abaji. So shi omoni, mother-in-law, shi abaji, father-in-law for women. So jokingly, some people say shi word, sea world, <laughs> shi word, it's just a slang expression, but the, the more traditional term to refer to the family or the house of your parents-in-law is 시댁. So you say 시댁에 갔어요. 시댁에 다녀왔어요. You visited your parents-in-law in their house. 시댁. And 시 world is just the spin-off of the word 시 world in English. Well, anyway, for guys, there's a different pair of words. So for men, the father-in-law is 장인. 장인 or 장인 어른. I hope I'm pronouncing everything slowly enough. 장인, 장인 어른. And your mother-in-law is 장모 or 장모님. 장모 or 장모님. But these terms are also used somewhat differently when you're actually calling them in person. So for women, instead of saying 시아버지, 시어머니, when you're, you know, striking up a conversation, you say 아버님 or 어머님, you drop the 시 there, okay? 아버님, 어머님, because if you just kept saying 시아버지, 시아버님, 시어머니, 시어머님, you would be distancing yourself from them, you know? So you just call them 아버님, 어머님. By the way, the difference between 아버지 and 아버님 is 아버지 is your own father, 아버님 is somebody else's father, okay? So that is that, and for guys, I also say 장모님, but also just say 어머님, 아버님. So for guys and girls, in the same way, just refer to your mother-in-law or father-in-law, 아버님 or 어머님. Okay, so that's it. It's not too difficult, is it? So just remember the titles and you don't have to remember all the titles that there are. You just have to figure out what family members, what kind of family members your spouse has and then just remember the titles that you will be using more frequently than the others and then of course the terms 아버님 and 어머님 and stick to 존댓말 but do not use 존댓말 all the time just kind of calculate a little bit and you'll be safe and you will be of course impressing a lot of people so hope you keep learning korean with us and if you're planning to become a parent soon and want to learn how to talk to your baby in the future in korean we have an ebook called parenting phrases in Korean, which will be very, very useful to many, many people. So please check that out on our online bookstore at mykoreanstore.com. And we have a ton of more Korean lessons at talktomeinkorean.com. We'll see you next time. And thanks for watching. Bye.